We'd like to demonstrate the Stanley Myers Dave Lawton Pulse Width Modulator. Now this pulse width modulator is actually divided into two sections. Section A, which is located on the left side and includes the three controls, is your primary section. Your primary section, when you switch it on, is the main section of the unit and it provides the pulse strain going to your hydrogen generator. Now the B section located on the right side also has three controls. The three controls on the right side control the duration and cutoff time that is superimposed upon your main pulse train. So it cuts the unit off for, for preset durations of time. So we'll start by demonstrating the unit. We'll turn the unit on and you'll notice that the hydrogen production will begin. Okay, we have the unit switched on now. Now the top control is the bandwidth control. The bandwidth control has three settings. Each setting on the bandwidth control will let you tune through a predetermined frequency range. You tune through the range by turning the frequency control. Now the mark space control that's incorporated with it also affects the frequency. And we have the B side. Now the B section of the unit will superimpose a pulse or a uh, cutoff time upon the main pulse train. We'll start by switching it on. We're set on the low speed so you'll see the light start to flash. Now the status light will enable you to monitor what's going on at the lower frequencies. If you look at the status light, the status light is switching off and on. This is superimposed upon the main pulse train. You can also see it over here on the amp meter. Each time the light goes out, the amp meter drops to zero because the cutoff time has shut the unit down. When the light switches on, the unit is back in operation. You can control the speed and everything with and the mark space with the section B side. The mark space control controls the width or the duration of the cutoff time. Watch when I vary the control. The light will stay on for a shorter duration of time and the amp meter will stay on for a shorter duration of time. If you turn the control counterclockwise it, it will stay on for longer durations of time. You can see that with the amp meter also. Now you can also change the frequency. You can speed the frequency up by turning the frequency control. The light will begin to flash faster. And you can see the reaction on the amp meter because the amp meter does not have time to drop all the way to zero. The switching is cutting the unit off and on at a faster rate. You can continue to increase it up to the maximum of the bandwidth that is set by the control on the top. Now we're going to move it up to the second bandwidth. You see the meter fluctuating faster and you see the light fluctuating faster. We can tune through that frequency also and have full control over the cell and the time that it cuts off and on by turning the mark space or the duration control and by varying the frequency or the speed at which it's taking place. And then we have the last setting which you're not able to actually visually see when it comes to the light unless you roll it back a little bit. You can turn the setting back a little and you can see the flicker on it. Okay, that's the demonstration for the Stanley Myers Dave Lawton Pulse Width Modulator.